I'm relatively OG in the sense of like, I used to only see you guys skating through videos. You know what I mean? Like I would just watch your section and I wouldn't know anything about you because I just see your section. Like you have some cool stuff, but you, you do stuff to like make your sections look cool. Um, what comes to mind is uh, I, I think it's uh, not opinions, but after opinions, uh, it's the one with the rim, the rim song of Colin Kelso. Um, and you just like, you just see him standing there in his in genre his fit, video? looking cool. Genre, yes, sorry. Genre. Um, you see, in the genre video, you see him there in his fit, just looking cool. But like that's that's all you really get personality wise. So now that we like can mm -hmm. follow our favorite skaters, like they're posting like their daily lives, like they're posting skating, they're posting whatever they're working on. So you're definitely getting more of people, and then you get people like me who aren't pro, but like are involved in skating and in doing things like this, and you get to learn about them and their lives and their stories. So, yeah, it's just so cool to connect with people on a different level. Because again, like I just I just got video skater, like I just got video um, Chris Haffey. I don't know, I wouldn't know who Chris Haffey was as a person, but then like you can if you follow him on social, you get a little bit more of what he's about. If that makes any sense. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's you. you uh, kind of like feel like you know a person before you meet them now. Yeah, it's one, it's one of those things, especially personality types, rather than just the skating. And that was one thing that I love about all these podcasts popping up now, which is you get mm -hmm. to. I, I always felt like you could look up to somebody in skating and like, oh, I, I want to skate like this person, want to be like this person, but it doesn't create like idols and you know role models. I think role models, yeah. you want to be the good person, you want to look up to them for more than just they're skating just because they have a good style or a good top sole or whatever it is. You know, you gotta, you gotta know them for who they are. And that's like what really makes a role model and an idol, I think. Right. Right. And so you get these, these looks into their lives that you wouldn't have gotten just from mm -hmm. their skating. And so, yeah, you get these podcasts like this, you get, you know, all these different things that can really connect you with a person. And then you meet them in real life. It's like, Oh, you're just like that. That's cool. Cause like, there's a lot of people, like you were saying, there's a lot of people you will meet, not a lot of people. There's some people you will meet, and then you meet them in real life. It's like, ah, oh, man, mm -hmm. you know, like they like never meet your, your idols and stuff. It's like, oh, yeah, man, yeah. Like person, bro. Like, but there's a lot of people because you are diving into their lives, diving into like their personalities on like shows like this, and you're really starting to get a like a sense, and you're finding role models of people you can really look up to. Like, yes, like he has a dope top soul, but he, he's also a dope person. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's what I'm trying to do too with my stuff. Yeah, we need a yeah. The the more role models in skating, the better. Um, mm -hmm. I think that's good. Mm -hmm. Good messages, sending out the right stuff. I love that. That's awesome. Yeah, man. And then like I, because I grew up watching, I grew up watching like a lot of like you guys obviously, but I grew up watching a lot of like black skaters and stuff, and like how representation is so important, and like seeing people that look like me that are doing what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Um, and making it cool for me to do that. And like, um, so it was cool to meet though, like to see that first and like at least get that. But then also like take, um, when you when you meet them in person and they're genuine people and they're nice and it's just like a whole package of it. That's yeah. really cool. I, I could see that like the visibility uh, in like skating, helping that and like, yeah, you having the show and people being able to relate to like you and your personality is a huge thing for skating and everyone, even like from, like from you to Tom Moist, like, you know, the UK people to hear his British accent yeah. and they're like, Oh, here's a guy, you know, I can relate to, you know, sound, you know, but, um, yeah, that's really <laughs> I, was cool. saying that like, I was saying that on like wax toaster and I was just like, yo, Japanese twib would be so sick. Oh my god, like, <laughs> those guys are on another level too with their insane. comedy. Insane! Like it would be the <laughs> coolest show ever. There's just anime popping out anywhere. Like it would be so sick. But like I think that like every culture can use something like this because you can see somebody in your who looks like you in your shoes mm -hmm. doing something um, instead of doing what the world tells you you're supposed to do. Like you don't have to like. This is the whole rant that I can get into, but it's just like you know. I grew up I grew up thinking that like I could only do two things. I could only rap or play basketball. And once I started skating, people were always just like, yo, that's just that you're doing that white boy shit. Like you're listening to rock music. You're gonna grow your hair out and spike your hair and shit and just rollerblade. And I was like, nah, man, like I'm just a regular dude that skates. And then so when I was seeing like I'm seeing murder, I'm seeing Richard, I'm seeing um, you know, Dre and Dre Dre Powell's doing 
raps his own rap songs on his sections like i'm seeing uh, black market was my first video so i'm seeing julian bob destroy it the first section in there is matre and with with the long shorts and that section like blew my mind and it's just like people that look like me and who i want to identify with are like killing it i when i growing up i thought uh rollerblading was a black sport and i was like white people do not rollerblade hmm. because black dudes are killing it and then i just realized like like what like really what it is and it's just kind of like give me a sense of like i don't have to be what everyone else tells me i have to be i can do this still be black and still retain who i am um and just enjoy something and it it doesn't make me less than it doesn't make me different it's just something i enjoy doing and then you know i connect with people that look like me and do the same stuff so that's what that's all that is to say that's kind of what i'm trying to do and promote that for you know kids that's looking at me and like you know, I can do a new show if I want to. Like, I don't have to. I don't have to do what my neighborhood tells me I gotta do. I can skate. I can. Um, if I want to rap, I can rap. I can play basketball. But like, I can. You know, you don't have to fit whatever norm your hood thinks you have to do. That's a, that's a really first of all that was awesome, and that's a really fascinating perspective, especially this perspective where you say just based on like what you first saw and like your environment that like oh skating is a black thing. And I know like for us, like growing up in the city, like uh, we definitely, there wasn't a place where I was like, oh, skating is a white thing. We have like a very diverse, uh, yeah. you know, group of people that yeah. we skated with. Yeah, you guys for but, sure. But, but, it's, but it's funny how other people look at it or how it might be portrayed on TV or perceived or even in like, I guess the general uh, place it might be have that. But, you know, it's it, like you said, it's good to have that presence and like have like all those the people just adding to like the culture and the diversity and just like the what skating is and the more different right. things you don't you don't have to be one thing like you said you could be right. you could be this you could be that and it doesn't you skating doesn't take away from you being anything else you know you can yeah. be all those things and then like when you get down to the minutia of it like you have so many different types of bladers and they all hang out mm -hmm. you ever think about that like how like there's people who are like rock like like dress more rock dress more hip-hop dress more like whatever like and they all kick it and go to the same spot that's so mm -hmm. like revolutionary and people don't even yeah. think about it that way like and then like my crew specifically is so diverse and then not even just diverse in skin but how they skate and how they handle spots like we'll go to a spot and you know germs going down the rail um joey is trying to jump from the bush onto the rail <laughs> me i'm trying to stair bash it like you ever i i never people don't really look at it like that but it's such a diverse and mixing pot of cultures that people that like are all doing the same thing but think about it differently and it, it's so cool that's why the up to no good video is awesome because that. everybody's section is so different Dude, for real. And it's an hour long. <laughs> <laughs> and I it was love free. That. It was free. But it was yo, for the F. on that Japanese twib tip, next time Soshiro's in Cali for John or whatever, you gotta you gotta hijack him, film a twib episode fully in Japanese. Don't yeah. even don't even say anything. Just put it out. Just put it out. Just put, put it out. out. Yeah, oh, everyone would be like, what? And he'd be like spitting all that Japanese shit about the news, and that's it. <laughs> it was so sick. You got you gotta you gotta, you gotta do that. You gotta for do real, that. Man. <laughs>